uh, online preschool is completely separate from ABC, Mouse, Hooked on Phonics, all the learning educational games. It's, that's them, that's not us. Let me show you why these two components are so critical to online preschool success. Hey everyone, this episode is brought to you by Start Your Preschool. Hey, wait a sec, that's my book. Inside of it, I share my story, how I started a successful preschool in my home to be able to stay home with my young kids and create a full-time income. I also share my exact step-by-step -step tips on how you can get your preschool started as well. I actually wanna ship you a free copy of this book. To get it, simply go to freepreschoolbook.com or click the link in the description and we'll get you sent one right away. I hope you enjoy this episode. Today I'm going to teach you how to teach online preschool without needing experience, a degree, classroom, or even a license. Online preschool is completely separate from ABC, Mouse, Hooked on Phonics, all the learning, educational games, etc. because there's two different components. Okay, these components, pay attention with me here, there's two of them that completely flip all of that on the side and say, that's them, that's not us. Let me show you why these two components are so critical to online preschool success when you're trying to enroll students and also, quite frankly, just when you're actually teaching children, like to teach them developmentally appropriate things. The two components are having a actual preschool teacher and having real life preschool friends, right? Of course. Everything else over there, it doesn't matter if it's free or cheap or whatever, they cannot offer that because they can't scale to the millions with an actual preschool teacher and real life preschool friends. So. What we did to fix that was we said preschool, online preschool has to have those two components. And here's what we built into the system to ensure that it had those two components. So to teach an online preschool class, we give our students two different classes. Now you, if you're going to local preschool, you might go to a class for two and a half hours and then go home. And that local online, that local preschool class has an actual preschool teacher and real life preschool friends and it's for two and a half hours. But should we be doing that on our computer screens for two and a half hours? No, we shouldn't. Remember the American Academy of Pediatrics says up to one hour of quality um, screen time. Now I do not want to go outside of what the American Academy of Pediatrics says, right? I mean. Forget all of the, the high ADHD inducing screen educational learning games, that's them. We're over here and trying to make sure that, hey, you know what? These people actually know something. So we're gonna fall within that theme. We're gonna give the best quality screen time that these children can have at this age. And so the two components that we have, we do two different preschool classes. The first preschool class we do is what we call teaching time. That is with an actual preschool teacher where for 30 minutes in the morning, this teacher is teaching students. She is teaching online and we use a program called Zoom or you can also use Google Hangouts, but she's teaching online this concept of, hey, here's our preschool class. Let me teach you all this fun activities. We do music and movement. We do story time. We do school time. We teach all of our color shapes, letters, numbers. We do it all hands-on, very developmentally appropriate, um, very active, engaging, we wanna make sure that the parents aren't saying, oh my gosh, my kid was watching you for two minutes and then they walked away. No, it's gotta be an engaging activity. And I teach you how to do this, obviously, um, how to do an online preschool class and keep it engaging for that 30 minutes, right? Because if you're gonna hold a child's attention for 30 minutes, you have to keep going and you have to like do a certain pattern here. So we use those three different time blocks. We have our um, music and movement, we have our story time, and then we have our school time. But here's what's cool. You can create a story out of a science project. You can create a story out of an arts and crafts, out of a, um, a flannel board. You can create um, your school time learning activities through all sorts of different things. So you can bring in, of course, actual materials. You're not just talking to a screen here. You wanna bring things in. You wanna be interactive and you wanna be able to like show these to your students as if you were in an actual preschool classroom. But you know what's gorgeous about this whole concept? You don't have to have a classroom, okay? Do you see this cute little wall behind me? Guess what? All you actually need is a wall. I'm serious. All you need is a wall. Do you have a wall in your home? I bet you do. <laughs> so all you need is a wall in your home. And then uh, what you can do with that is you can decorate the wall really cute. And I have a different wall for my online preschool. Um, but, you know, put up some letters, put up some color shapes, numbers, put up some vibrant colors. Okay, you can make it your own cute little wall. And then you just stand in front of the wall and you talk just like I'm talking here. It's super easy. 
So that's how we do teaching time. It's that very first component there. For 30 minutes, we're gonna be teaching. Now, here's somebody might be saying, wait a second, Joy, how in the world can I teach all those students? They're gonna be so loud, they're gonna be talking, like, I don't know how to do that. And here's what I would say to you. Actually, during this teaching time, you're only teaching almost as if you don't hear the students because you don't hear the students. Now you can see their pictures pop up on Zoom or other things, but you don't hear them because everybody is muted, okay? This is not an interactive time, this is a learning time. There are two times, learning and interactive. This is the learning time, okay? So if we're doing the learning, we're going to be speaking as if we were in a preschool classroom where we are high engagement and visual and, and auditory, but in, it's in a really good way because it's face-to-face -face human interaction, okay? It's not some computer game that developed, you know, all the cartoon characters, right? No, this is face-to-face -face human interaction. And you're gonna teach as if you had your students right there on Circle Time Rug and uh, teach that way, yes? Okay, so the first one is, of course, the learning which is the, um, we're gonna be doing teaching time with an actual preschool teacher, okay? Now that's in the morning, it's for 30 minutes. And then in the afternoon, here's what we get to do. We get to pop on for an afternoon class that I call Preschool Pals. Preschool Pals is a completely different class. Now this one where everybody is muted, right? And nobody interacts, where this is the interactive one. The Preschool Pals class is also 30 minutes. It's held in the afternoon. And on that one, yes, everybody is unmuted and everybody can see each other so that we can interact. Yes, just like a normal preschool class if we're all hanging out in a classroom, but now we have an online classroom. So we see little squares and rectangles of everybody's face and we can talk to each other. Um, now we do what's called that Preschool Pals time so they can socialize, they can make friends, we can assess their abilities. Okay, that's huge, being able to assess them and find out where they're at developmentally so that we can tailor our curriculum to helping them. We can teach one-on-one -on -one during the interactive time. Uh, we can do show and tell, we can do sharing time. Lots of opportunities here during that 30 minutes uh, Preschool Pals class. Now, you might be saying, well, how many children should we have in the teaching time class or the preschool pals class? Now, with preschool pals, can you have 100 students in there all talking at once? Can you try to manage 100? No, of course you can't, right? Just like you can't have 100 preschoolers in your physical classroom. So you have to visualize it like this. You have to say, how many students would I probably feel comfortable teaching in a preschool classroom. I'm gonna give you that number that is probably your number, okay? So if you feel comfortable teaching maybe six students, right? Or maybe you've never taught preschool before. You're like, I'm brand new to this. Guess what, guys? I was there too. I was brand new to it as well um, during that whole process of like, I don't know how to teach preschool, but I will figure it out. Thankfully, you have me to help you learn exactly how to teach preschool. So it's okay, you don't have to have the degree or the experience. Um, I will teach you. Now, when you are, but you're, you have to say, okay, if I had my own children, okay, and this is kind of gonna help you too, how many of my own children, preschool age, if they were all, dumb, uh, all brought down to preschool age level, how many of those children could I probably teach, you know? Um, now, granted, they probably listen a little bit better to you because you're not mom, okay, when you're teaching a preschool class, but, in that scenario, try to picture, literally picture yourself on a circle time rug and with students in front of you, and you're like, you know what? I could probably totally manage, you know, six. That's what I started with. I do recommend that if you are brand new to this, probably start out with six students, whether that's local or online, right? In your preschool pals class. Uh, but if you feel more confident, you know, maybe 10 to 12, okay? So you could have 10 to 12 students in your preschool pals um, online classroom, like this here for 30 minutes, and be engaging. Now, of course, I've got all sorts of things like preschool prompts and, and things you should say and how to assess the students and how to interact with them during that time so that it's engaging again, but also not overwhelming. You don't wanna be like coming away from the preschool pals class like, whoa, I don't ever wanna do that again because like everybody's talking at the same time. No, we give you strategies on how to do that. Um, so we've got our preschool pals class of probably, you know, 10 to 12 students or so. Now here's the, here's the beauty though, friends, okay? Now you might be saying, okay, well then I can only teach 10 students. We'll go with the number of 10. I can only teach 10 students in online preschool because I'm gonna do one class of uh, teaching time and then one class of preschool pals, only 10 students. No, during teaching time, you can actually teach up to 100 students for free on Zoom, up to 100 students, friends. 
Do you know, I keep calling you friends because that's what I say to my preschoolers. Do you know that with when you're teaching teaching time, guys, it doesn't matter how many people are in that room because everybody's muted. So you could teach your lesson to 10 or you could teach your lesson to 100 or 1,000. It literally doesn't matter. It is still human interaction. You're still engaging every, every person as if they were only one. Pretend you're literally only teaching to one and you have to engage that one. It doesn't matter how many others are on, they will all benefit from that. So you're teaching a global preschool lesson, okay? So you could have up to 100 students, let's picture that, okay? And let's say they only wanna come Tuesday, Thursday, right? So they show up on Tuesday, Thursday, they pay $47 for that month, and they show up here for just um, 30 minutes in the morning. But you have 100 of them, okay? Let's, let's bring it down, because maybe you're like, I don't want to teach preschool for 100. I don't want to teach preschool for like, you know, that many families or whatever. Um, maybe, can we bring it down to more of a normal level? Okay, sure, let's say 40, all right? So, here you have an opportunity to teach 40 students, right, um, in teaching time. Now, how do you do preschool pals if you're doing a Tuesday, Thursday class? On Tuesday, Thursday, you would do a uh, morning teaching time and a morning teaching time. So that's like, let's say 9 to 9.30. But then let's say that you come back on for your teaching time of preschool pals classes in the afternoon from 12 to 12.30, et cetera. How do you do that if you have 40 students? Just break it into groups of 10. You have four classes then of preschool pals. So a 12 to 12.30, a 12.30 to one, a one to 1.30, and a 1.30 to two. Holy cow, you're only teaching two and a half hours for that day, and yet you're making $47 for 40 students. That's amazing, right? And that's just one class of 40 students, only working two and a half hours during that day. You know what, I'm gonna do some math with you while we're literally right here, because I think this is just amazing. When we start doing math, and we start seeing what's possible for us in such little time, it's awesome. Okay, so $47 a month at 40 students, only teaching Tuesday, Thursday for two and a half hours each day, you can make $1,880. What? Holy cow, that's amazing. Now, can I just give you an hourly rate real quick? Because I like to just, everything is a numbers game to me. And if I can just figure out the numbers, then I'm like, you know what? This is crazy, right? So if we had um, our 47 students, our, our $47 a month, uh, 40 students, that's 1880. I'll call it 1880 because it's easier that way. So $1,880, so 1880. And we're only working 20 hours during the entire month because that's how I just worked it out. If we're only working 20 hours during the entire month, guess what? We're making $94 an hour. What business ever can you go work for for $94 an hour? Nobody will hire you for $94 an hour teaching preschool. But you can teach online preschool and make $94 an hour. What? That's crazy. But it's true. It's real. It's happening literally right now, friends. So this is amazing. Now you might say, that's cool, Joy, but you know what? Like. Maybe you wanna work less, that's awesome. Take your time down and only do 10 students, right? Maybe you wanna work more, maybe you need to make more. Maybe, right, you know, 1880 a month is not enough for you. And you're like, you know what, I'd actually prefer $6,000 a month or $10,000 a month or 20 or however much a month you want to make. The truth about online preschool is guys, it can scale. It can scale as high as you want it to be because while you may be only one teacher, right? Teaching X amount of classes, and you may cap out at, you know, maybe if you're teaching four different classes and you're teaching 100 students in each one and lots of uh, teaching time and preschool pals classes, okay, maybe you're maxed out. Maybe you're making 10 grand and you're maxed out. But can you hire other preschool teachers to literally do this exact same thing? Yes. How many people out there would love to teach online preschool and not have to deal with the business side? Well, I have a private community of like hundreds of women who would love to do that literally right now. Not to mention thousands and hundreds of thousands across the world of preschool owners who are just hanging out at home and would love the opportunity to jump into a Zoom, teach a class, have fun, interact with the students and go on their merry way. So you can scale this any size you want by just having additional preschool teachers on your team. Ah, is this blowing your mind? Oh, I hope so, because it blew my mind when I came up with the concept of how to teach online preschool. So we've got, you know, and here's the other thing. Well, Joy, but I don't want to teach. No worries, go hire a preschool teacher. They can do the exact same things as if it was you, okay? They can do the teaching time class. They can do the preschool pals class. Beautiful. 
Joy, I don't want to go live. I, you know, I'm not super comfortable around the camera. No worries, guys. For your teaching time class, guess what you can do? You can pre-record it for real. Like pre-record it. It's done for the day. You can do it. At, you can do it at 11 o'clock at night, right? Yes, you can do it at 11 o'clock at night. Um, now, should we pre-record our preschool pals class? Of course not. You can't do that. You can't replicate social interaction. Okay, uh, pre-record it. So yes, you can record all these if somebody isn't able to watch them in the future, but uh, you have to actually do Preschool Pals live because you're literally doing live human interaction. Okay, so I hope that this is just opening your eyes to the possibilities. If you are a mother who has children, that would make sense. <laughs> um, if you're a mother who has, who has children at home with you currently, that that's great, right? If you have preschool age kids, if you have babies, you can do this around their schedule, guys. You're the one that creates the schedule in the first place. If you have um, other teachers, you can definitely hire them, right? But so my point is, is if you, you don't have to have a degree, you don't have to like have gone to college for preschool, for early childhood education. You don't have to have experience teaching preschool because literally you can come follow me and I will teach you how to teach online preschool. And you don't have to have a location. You don't have to have classrooms. You can literally just have a wall, right? Okay. Um, holy cow. You don't have to have a license. This is not a licensed area. For real, forget the state, forget the government. You do not have to have a license. You can teach online preschool and you can get paid handsomely for it as well. So that is secret number one. That is basically how to teach um, online preschool and compete against all of the, you know, the crazy uh, educational learning games. You don't do that. You, you do your teaching time and your preschool pals classes with an actual preschool teacher and real life preschool friends. If you're loving these videos, would you do me a quick favor? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell to be notified every time a new video drops. Also, be sure to comment, like, and share these videos. My mission is to share this message with as many women as possible, and you can help us with that as well. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the video.